14 of the NFL is underway. And this carries into the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. One yard line. in front they just engaged and held their ground but how about the guy who made the play we often talk about whether they take a good first step or not many times you just don't take any step just get your feet moving get your body going and then once he made the read he was able to make the play the last run good for two here's second and eight Once he got out of the box, whether he just throw the ball away and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. inside the 40. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. One. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. They snap it to Herbert. Flushed out right. to the 33 good enough for a first down well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it but in the end great execution a six yard gain and it all works out so they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33 now a toss running left Eckler he's got this down to the 20 before he's dropped. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. With Melvin Gordon moving on to Denver, Austin Eckler is officially the Chargers' number one option at the running back position. Gordon spent a lot of time holding out last year, and Eckler took full advantage with a breakout season. 92 receptions, 993 yards, and eight touchdowns. He was in the top 10 in the league in receptions, receiving touchdowns, and all-purpose yards. Herbert on first down now. Escaping the pressure right. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. Mike Williams, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. So he scrambled right, but was able to look back toward the middle of the end zone to find the target. As you know, in this game, sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules because we all know most guys throwing the football are taught never throw back 
into the middle of the field on a scramble. He did it and got away with it for a touchdown. Instinct sometimes, right? They just take over. Instinct and vision. Sometimes you just see people who are open. You're able to get it to them. Take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line not to start that they were hoping for the interception on the first play of the game it leads to six points the other way how do you rebound from here yeah, a little bit of humor gotta laugh that one off and not the ha ha that was very funny but kind of like can you believe that just happened let's go out and play now let's just start over the last run got a couple here second and eight They go play action now. Ryan. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Kenneth Murray in there to drop him, and that will go in the books as the first sack of his young NFL career. Congratulations, young man. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. Looking downfield for Joe. He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 42. A big play there, Ryan to Jones. 47 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now a handoff for Gurley. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And he gets this one down to the 24. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And there's a run there by Todd Gurley. We all know he's looking to rebound from the least productive season of his career. And I think Atlanta presents him a great opportunity to do just that. They'll use him really well running it as well as catching it out of the backfield. And he's going to lose your and should be backed up to the 25. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. 25-yard line. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here. Second and 11. From the shotgun, Ryan. To the right side and complete to Hurst. Inside the 10, mark him down at the 9. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. On first and goal, Gurley. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Todd Gurley with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Sterling Hochrichter to kick off for the Falcons. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. On the handoff, it's Gurley. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Gurley, the ball carrier. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now on second down, this is Gurley. 
And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. From the gun, on third down, Ryan. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And Hauschka's kick is good. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the plane, and it'll be second and goal. No gain. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's bound the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones. Touchdown. Julio Jones. Touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Falcons have taken the lead. His kick is and he puts it through. Makes the score. Falcons 14. Chargers 7. Now following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result that he opted for the touchback. 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On the ground, it's Eckler. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. 38-yard line, second and nine. A shotgun snap for Hogan. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. Complete to Keenan Allen. One-handed. Love the effort. Not much production on that play, though, huh? Not a whole lot of yardage. You get that grab, you probably want a first down. And he'll be the one in the film session if he's saying, hey, run that one back, Coach. Yeah. Run that one back. One more time. Let's see that Two again. Time. And they won't. Eight more times. They won't. Didn't get much out of it. From the gun, Herbert on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10.
out set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Now their last two drives, both ending in touchdowns. It's got them this 14-7 lead. And it looks to me, and I think you're probably seeing the exact same thing, they're in an ideal spot now to create some separation. The way that they're functioning on offense now, they can create a pretty good gap allows their defense to play with a little more verve and confidence. A yeah, big article in the paper this morning about them stringing possessions together for consecutive touchdowns. Well, right here, they're trying to make it three in a row. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Julio Jones. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Ryan's pass taken in by Ridley. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 12 yards there and a first down. First down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman both larger than me. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Falcons. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw again is Ryan. And that throw intercepted. It's Chris Harris, the Pro Bowl corner. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will score a touchdown. So they had a good drive going, a chance to build on this first half lead, but now you kind of feel like we got a new ball game. And you wonder what the discussion will be now at halftime because I think we were headed towards one. Now it's a different discussion altogether. One side optimistically, the other side wondering what could have been. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. the Charger. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is single four and taken. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line tie ball game still a little more than a minute to go in the half the question can they put something together here trying to take that lead and yet again Ryan is intercepted picked off by the seal and he's going to take this one back to the 37 yard line well that's three picks he's now thrown in this game and I know this the holiday season so here we are in December right it is the season of giving maybe for his own sake after the game he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw after the turnover here's Herbert complete Hunter Henry with the ground the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. At the Falcons, 36-yard line. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. On the screen, this is Eckler. And some room to maneuver. They are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that 
sets up a first and goal. First Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Austin Eckler in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chargers are going to take the lead. Lining up for the exit. So they're able to break the tie just before halftime. Now they just don't want anything crazy to happen on the ensuing kickoff. Yeah, they want to just add the extra point, get the kickoff taken care of, and get to the locker room with the lead that they fought so hard to get. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. Here's Smith to return it. Brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one, go to the locker room, start over. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Chargers take over first and 10. At their own 23. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10. At their own 23. They'll hand off here to Eckler. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second down, here's Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. And they get him down, but now before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage. And that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Herbert. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First, they ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Stepping up, he'll try and run. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Good position to be in here, second and inches. From the gun, over. He completes it to Henry. That's good. Well, that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. Herbert has it knocked free. Ten yard line. 
So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's worked on. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to, and everyone knows their role when they create a turnover like that. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. It'll be a pickup of eight and a good first step there with second and goal coming up. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And he gets in. Touchdown Atlanta. Todd Gurley with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. That ties the game at 21 apiece. Sterling Hochrichter. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And this will make it into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. First and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Herbert down on second down. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Brings up third down. fourth down. Here's Ty Long now as he'll punt it away for the second time. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And that will come the offense as they take over. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. Now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Hayden Hurst, former first-round pick, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. It's now second and ten.
Throwing again. Ryan. This one caught by Ridley. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Atlanta. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now Gurley. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, all even as we get ready to start the fourth. Up of five. Here's second and five. Out of the gun. It's Ryan. Dumps it off to Gurley. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play. First down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Gurley now, out of the gun. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have broken our tie. He's got the hat trick now of rushing touchdowns. Also has his team the advantage. And I'm looking at it two ways here. If I'm on defense, I don't care what they do now. I commit as many people as it takes to slowing him down running the football. Even if they want to hit me over the top on play action, I just don't let him beat me that way anymore. And if I'm him, I'm in the huddle calling the plays myself. I don't care what play call comes in. I tell my quarterback, guess what? You're handing it to me again. And if I'm the quarterback, I'm saying, okay, that sounds good, right? Smart quarterback. The Charger drive about to get going. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And this one complete to Reed. a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. From the 50, here's Herbert. Flush to his right. Caught on the right side, Reed. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That's good for 28 yards. At the 23-yard line. A big spot for the rookie, Herbert. Gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? We're coming up and making the big-time play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Justin Herbert looking to pass, eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Brings up third down. The battle in the trenches never more important than right now. This is third and inches. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Austin Eckler with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So right back 
to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. Fielded in the end zone. And he is out of bounds here on the return. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line well they just gave up the score to tie it that's the bad news the good news plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back and not much to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26 of a yard well it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way they stacked that one up really well but give him credit Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. On second and nine, Ryan. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And nearly a touchdown as they finally stop him down at the three-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll make it second and goal. Second and goal at the three-yard line. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. <laughs> try to punch it in with Eckler. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They come up on what could be a pivotal third and goal now in a tie ball game. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. It's up and good, and they jump back ahead, 35-28. Makes the score, Chargers 35, Falcons 28. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. That'll be returned the ball is loose. And this defense has broken it open as they return it to the house for six. Trying to bust out of that losing funk, and these fans have to like this. And all right, fellas, this is more like it. And I know that if this holds up after the game, they're going to give the fans a lot of credit being at home, getting the support. 
But you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility, look each other in the eye and say, okay, what's it going to take to break this losing streak? And they really came together with a good week of practice. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Taken in the end zone. And he is out of bounds here on the return. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Ryan. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's incomplete. Nearly another pick. My goodness. They're down two scores, and they need a quick one to try and get back into this one. That was one way to try and get it done. Unsuccessful in the attempt, but they have no choice but to keep trying. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the gun, it's Ryan. It's caught, Jones. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. A big play there, Ryan to Jones. 43 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. First down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. Throwing again, Ryan. The 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First down. Again, Ryan. Back in the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Julio Jones once again the intended target. That'll bring up second down. To throw again. Ryan. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Julio Jones, his Pro Bowl receiver. And it's third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it.
onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, not giving up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Once more, here's Eckler. And he gets this inside the 35 yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. That's a screen pass. That's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Today's final score. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Chargers, it's a very important win as they move to 9-4 now on the year. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.